So we're busy putting out fruit fly traps. Um, this is actually the traps that we're using is, is rodent traps actually, but we're just turning them around. They should work sufficiently. Because they have a black cover that's got a as you can see. Yeah, it looks like a little water feeder for the chickens. I wish I had some of these when I had four. Yeah. I'm gonna get those. Soon, again. So, so we're gonna place them here for the watermelons and the sweet melons or the cantaloupes. And see how they work. Varkie was so groot as spikies. Ek ben spikies is amper bietjie groter as jou bejaardag varkie was. Ja. Ja, so hopefully by January we'll have a pregnant sow. She's still too young. He's too young, but unfortunately the males are fertile whether they are young or not. So, yeah, I, I wouldn't want them to have babies too soon, but yeah, and then now if uh, lashes, we can really get the perspective of how big she is. <laughs> but I mean, that's a 20 liter can and that's lashes, so that gives a good 25 liter can. Yeah, I think it's a 25 liter. So, yeah, see, there's not a lack of willingness that, that she's not pregnant yet, but they also say that they can become pregnant from five to six months, no? So, she's doing well. We don't want them too fat because they're going to be the breeders till we can upgrade. But I'm happy with my piggies. So we are going to mook Violet, the goat that lost the baby. Hey, Violet, and you was milk here, man. Now we have a show of the insect. And I. Kijk, I peas, posy posy. Is that a dwelling in the peas? Huh? Is that a dwelling in your peas, Rosy posy? Kijk, I peas, mommy. Huh? Yeah, Rosie's gonna have a baby soon. That's a surprise. Magnolia! Magnolia! Hello! Hello, Magnolia! Is this your boy? Yeah. Is this your boy? So, Anton only mooks in the morning, so we do sharing, mook sharing. This is Tinkerbell, look at those horns. Oh, Tinkerbell. Hello, Tweety Pee. Hello, Tinkerbell. And little Mr. Rooster is sleeping here. Hi. Hi, we're in Smack Seer. We're in Smack Tambalina. Ja, ek denk hulle wil inkom, en nou slaan Tambelina my met haar hoorings. Nee, dit af nie, jy probeer tussen my en jy, kom. En jy wil ons kiekie kraai. Hoi, jy wankie. So hopefully these two gullies will come soon. Ah, it's a mess. He thinks he needs to eat me all the time. Whenever I see him, he wants to eat me. The 
told you so. I love live the backy. I hey, my rosy posy. So even Princess is gaining weight lately. I love rosy posy. Maximus, you come and you call me, Maximus. Okay. Are you all done? I'm all done. I'm going to give you this little bit of milk to hold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm. so you are just stretching your other now, basically. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to run over up down even the video will let you open. Oh, no, 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 Oh, we had some visitors today on the farm. I couldn't believe that she's only about two, two and a half weeks old, but almost three weeks. Milky, you know, I'm not sure. 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 It's a butternut, eh? That's all of them. <laughs> Off row. Okay, so this little maze is cocoon. Eh? If I can remember correctly, yeah. Cocoon, but so Violet has broken in a few times and decimated them, so we. Never gave them fertilizer either, apparently. Things we stopped giving them fertilizer. Yeah, with Violet breaking in the whole time. But. Even the worms are feeling here. Some black prawn. Right. They look about right. Mm -hmm. Lynette is busy with sweet potato shoots. She's cut it off one plant that we've been growing for a while. It's about in between 30 and 50 centimeters long. Make a nice deep hole. And you plant it and that will grow and produce sweet potatoes for you. Well, you need at least three leaves. Yeah. I got more. And you need at least three nodes under the soil. And then I just... Because sweet potatoes grow down and potatoes grow up. 
but sweet potatoes and potatoes are not family. For sweet potatoes are family of the morning glory and potatoes are family of tomatoes, the nightshade family. <coughs> Sorry. So <coughs> Sorry. They are not the same. You don't cultivate them the same and you don't plant them the same. The only thing you probably could do the same is fertilizer. <coughs> Sorry. You get all the pests you get on tomatoes and potatoes, but you don't get pita on your good sweet potatoes. So, could get bullworm on them. So, we're trying a new variety today. What is the name again? La Victoria beans. Yeah, La Victoria beans. It's a French bush bean. Yeah. Okay. And it takes about 50 to 55 days, which is a little bit faster than the beans that we've got now. But we don't know what it tastes like, and we are quite particular when it comes to the taste. We like sweet, crispy beans. We don't like lazy housewife beans. It's got some funny. What I've read about it, it will, will be the, in, in our taste bracket, I think. Yeah, so, I'm going to sow them here. Okay. Because we take, took out all the onions. Uh, all the onions are out. There and there. The broccoli is out. The broccoli is out, so there's the one or two cabbage heads, red cabbages left. But they are still shaping, so they, they're still working for us. We're still ah. producing stuff. The rest of the garden, well, I think that potatoes will even either tuta or too mm. much water. I think two of the plants they've actually died. Died, looks like it almost. I'll see if maybe, maybe you can go see, scratch around, see if there's any little potatoes we can use for sweet potatoes. I got some more space. Okay. So, go. There's the fork. Yeah, but you was want to sow it, or don't you? Interesting, so beautiful. I can't find my yellow thingy, and I don't know what to call it. Seed stick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And there goes the first beans. All right, let's go look at this potatoes. You can see we've got a bit of damage on them. And this one is actually still growing. It's producing again. It looks like it's just rotted off. How do ladies go buy do grocery shopping in this country? Yeah. 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 Let's see if we can. And there's a small potato that we can put in the ground. And we take out this plant entirely, Lynette. Yeah. Okay. It's well, we're looking for the sweet potatoes so we don't waste the seeds. We get something. There's another one. And the other thing, we don't know if these beans will cope in the heat, me. Oh, I don't know if they will cope in the heat. Oh, I never brought my beans. <laughs> Well, that's two seed potato goods that we can use for seeds on that plant. Let's see what this one delivers for us. Where did that one go? Well, I need one again. Yes. So, off the bat, there's already one. And there's another one. There's another potato. Ooh. <laughs> this is even a big one. Look here, Lynette. Not massive, but... Yeah, I'd even be willing to 
back out. So. Sweet potatoes. Yeah, we're gonna put the potatoes in somewhere else. Hmm. There we go. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna plant them. And I'm just gonna literally push them into the ground where I see a drip line. Or a drip. A drip is coming. Because this is a bush type potato, so we can. Hopefully, and then uh, we'll plant these two that's left here by where we've planted the sweet potatoes, but we'll also plant them a little bit further apart. So, let's hope they grow. So, we have some extra sweet corn seed left. Um, we sowed the maize, the sweet corn, and uh, about three or four days later we had uh, frost. Frost that killed two and a half thousand of our tomato seedlings. It killed many other farmers' plants in the area. Oh, and uh, very I, unusual. it's very unusual. And. Um, yeah, I think it killed our maize. Uh, I think it was in the beginning of sprouting and it killed it in the soil. So it's now two weeks later and only two has sprouted. So I decided I'm going to sow some new seed today. And uh, the Anton was helping me. And um, this, I had to open a new packet for three or four seeds so he uh, said he would create a few more lines for us now we've never gardened in this soil but we had lucerne growing here and you can actually see it in the soil this is actually pretty nice soil huh anton yeah. just a lot of grass this is a really nice soil we've created here. Um, but yeah, so this is just temporary gardens until we can move to our new property. And it feels kind of stupid to, to do it and then move. But yeah, we don't have a car, so we can't go to shops every week or every few days, so... <coughs> I can say to Anton, other ladies go and shop Saturday mornings. I go sow seeds Saturday mornings. And unfortunately, he always has to help. Now that's cow McPee. That's an organic. Whew. That's a lot of cow McPee. Do you usually put that much in? No, it's about half a thing. I put one of these in these. In one line? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so it kind of looks interesting. I do push it a little bit. But it's because the ground here needs so much nutrients. Yeah, but we've we've really repaired this soil a lot. It doesn't look like sand anymore. So Lucerne really does the thing, huh? Any legume really. So I'm thinking we're going to have some problems with grass here, but it's just for the sweet corn right now. We're not planting anything else here. We've got some uh, watermelons also here. Anyhow, 
we finished showing here again and uh, it's like lately we are only making videos of the home garden but you know this is big part of what we do our home garden is a priority for us it saves us a lot of money yes it is a lot of work and effort but we we get to eat things we can't afford to buy in the shops most people can't afford to buy vegetables so you have to choose between meat or vegetables and we still have to buy meat but we're working on that as well and uh, yeah but thank you for helping me again Anton not a problem speech just speaks on it of mine <laughs> yeah but uh, you know I always wonder why people ask this all the hard work helping you lose weight and I wonder if people really know you've lost over 20 kilograms in the last few years so yeah I'm struggling to lose this um the last bit I think people should rather start working in their gardens <laughs> than worry about your weight <laughs> Oh, it doesn't bother me that much and it doesn't bother my wife that much. So. Yeah, well. I'm just going to fix that back and break it nicely for you. No, it's just yeah. millies. Yeah, it's not millies. Okay. It was something else I would be worried but It's just maize. Maize is not so fussy. We're going to be growing a lot of sunflowers soon. So that's going to be one amazing view. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to sow the seed. So hopefully you can hear me when this wind blowing. And uh, this is now a bit, a bit of a problem, but it's... Well, uh, this is too cold. It's Old wind. Old, no, it's still my damage. Still my damage. I always struggle. This is a very focus for you. You can hold it. This is acne. This is camera. This is different. I'll just put it so that it doesn't lie on top of my plants. We can fix it. Anton, drag the foot. I can't do it. Can you? I'm going to get a little bit of 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 a little that tree over there yeah, well, on the right. outside. The wind, if the wind is a bit better because we can't really chop or cut down trees with a bit like this. Yeah. It will be really too much of a of a safety risk <laughs> to do that at this point in time. But the termites yeah. are now becoming a real problem again. Yeah but the termites are even in our date tree and look at this date tree is flowering for the first time. Look at this. It's beautiful. Not that we don't have one to pollinate it, so I don't know if this is male or female or if we have other day trees that could pollinate it in the area, but I do know you need a male and a female, but it's beautiful and it looks 
It's the first time. <laughs> no. Last year there was a lot. Tiny little piece, but look at look at all the termite nest. It's hard, so I don't know if they are actually still in there. Yeah. Uh, another reason why we don't want to stay here anymore. We have them everywhere, but a tree like that, I won't move to the new property. Oh, we'll just have to buy a new tree. A new date. Yeah. Everything is going to be new. Yeah, so, from a, from a windy, windy day here on the farm, from here, Anton. And Lynette. We love you, God bless and goodbye.